And the question that I pose to the government is, if legal aid is not there for the poorest in society at the time of greatest need, what is its function? These are all the areas, social welfare, uh, law, where people in extremis who are getting into debt, who have lost their benefits, who have lost their jobs, who, are, who have immigration status which is not confirmed, need help and cannot, despite what the government says, run those cases or provide that advice themselves. We're very concerned that the government is rushing this bill through Parliament. Now they clearly have to, if they want it to go on the statute books, to get it through by next spring. That's their problem. But they shouldn't do that at the expense of proper parliamentary scrutiny. We want the committee stage in particular, in the Commons and in the Lords, to allow us to go through the bill line by line and clause by clause and expose its inadequacies. Because if we we're allowed to do that, then I believe the government will have to back down in many areas. Now that we've seen the bill, we are concerned that it is going to impact most on the most vulnerable and the poorest in society. Now that may be, in the case of clinical negligence, uh, brain damaged children. It may be in the case of people who are in danger of losing their home, at the stage when they're getting into debt, at the stage when their uh, benefits have been withdrawn unjustly, in education, in immigration, in all the areas of everyday life where people are in extremis and are unable to get advice or to represent themselves, they will find they are not getting justice in this country. It's the biggest change in access to justice since legal aid was introduced after the Second World War. Everybody who cares about legal aid can do something to stop this happening. Through the Sound Off for Justice campaign, uh, and indeed through individual MPs, irrespective of the party, you can have an influence. So do get involved with the campaign, but do also write to your MP, contact your MP, and even if they're initially uh, hostile or don't reply, keep at it, because at the end of the day, if enough constituents talk to their MPs about this issue, and make it clear that MPs themselves will have to pick up a lot of the burden here, from people who no longer have advice centres to go to, for example, then they will stand up, I hope, in Parliament and protest as we're protesting against these very unfair and wide-ranging cuts.